Welcome to another free lecture. Now this lecture is an example lecture from my jewellery design course part two. If you're interested in jewellery design then make sure you check out the intro to this course or click the link for 50% off um, below in the description. Okay so in this lecture what I want to talk about this time is using the scale key and being able to scale non-uniformly. Now if we have this item here we have a simple cylinder and we have a mesh extracted which has been turned into a boolean for this detail. Now there might be occasions where I actually just when I scale this I don't actually want to scale it uniformly so come up and down like that. I might just want to scale it on the X and the Z axis. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So if we go over our gizmo here and we've made sure that our gizmo is centered okay, on this round object, then to actually get one of the axes to disable, we can go over the axis, click it and then hold the Alt key. Now, when you drag from now on, it's only going to pull it out in the X and the Z axis because we've turned off the Y axis. So this can be really good for pulling detail out of a model and just restricting it to those axes. So remember, if I didn't do this and I was to scale this then this is what would happen because all the axes are working at the same time now remember we can do this we can do one axis but to be able to disable the axis is a really good thing so we can do exactly the same with any of the axes we want to disable if I want to disable the Z axis again I can click it hold the alt key drag and it will now scale in the Y and the X and not the Z axis so this is a simple technique that you can use. There was a different way of doing it in previous versions of ZBrush, but now we have this facility of pressing the Alt key, which as you know, kind of reverses or turns off options, the Alt key generally. So now we have this option of clicking here, holding the Alt key and just restricting it to the two axis and not the axis we've actually clicked the Alt on. I hope you've enjoyed this free lecture brought to you by MojoMojo.Design. So if you're interested in jewellery design and you want to know how to do a plethora of things and techniques all to do with jewellery design in ZBrush, then you might want to check out my website courses.mojomojo.design. You'll see a link in the descriptions where you can find out more about this course. Now this course has only just been brought out and it covers next gen techniques um, inside of ZBrush 2019 for jewelry design, specifically for jewelry. So you're going to see on the course page here that you've got some examples of some of the work that we're going to do. And I'll be adding to some of the sections at the bottom as well. So you can see here that we've got a lot of information and here is the course curriculum to date that will grow and obviously we have the pricing down here now i'm giving you a special 50 percent off for a limited time this will not be open all the time so if you click the link and it's expired then you've missed it so get in there quick and get 50 percent off of this course on jewelry design inside of zbrush